Hello again. Um, I'm just going to do a little um, review of some tools I picked up uh, just recently. Um, the first I'll show you um, came off eBay and it's a Morse tapered drill, but not quite an ordinary one. You'll see that it actually has secondary cutting edges um, and is forming a, uh, a reamer um, after the drill. Uh, it only cost me about £10 delivered um, and I'm pretty short of uh, large Morse taper drills um, so I spend a lot more boring time boring than I really should do and I, I, I mean to stock up so uh, that was one of the, the first things. Um, I'm about to go and visit the guy I bought most of my machine tools uh, from uh, to um, look at a nice tilting uh, mill table that he's, he's got for the, uh, the Bridgeport clone and I'm going to try and, try and pick up some more Morse taper drills whilst I'm there and then I've got a couple of items that were impulse buys when I was down at the motor factor that I can walk to from work and first of all was a a set of, of brushes stainless brass and nylon well the nylon's just general cleaning um, but the, the stainless in particular um, will work well with um, cleaning stuff for, for TIG welding they were just a couple of quid and what really caught my eye was a set of long handled pliers and you know I've used long handled pliers on occasion and not thought they were particularly useful because the handles end up having to go open too far to be comfortable to use let me just bring you a bit closer in on this one and you can see that these have got a, an additional linkage action such that they're, I can actually get them pretty much fully open with a one hand action I mean they're not uh, they're not box jointed um, they're reasonably crude kind of finish although the uh, the jaws do a pretty good impression of meeting properly and uh, these were a little more expensive they were 11 pounds but I thought you know these could just come in handy on occasion uh, you know they didn't break the bank they can go in the drawer and might might come out and be the thing that saves the day one of these uh, one of these days. Now, the last thing um, I've kind of borrowed from work. I need to zoom out a bit for this. There we go. And I've seen it on the tooling shelf um, in the workshop for years and I, I was just thought thinking about it the other day and went in there and uh, one of the guy one of the guys I mean he's been been a machinist for 37 years and he didn't know what it was and when I said can I borrow it and explain what I wanted it for he said oh wow well, that's a brilliant idea I'll have to try that sometime <laughs> So it looks like I can't keep this, I'll have to make one um, myself, which I've been meaning to do for some time, and send it back. And it's a quick tram for a vice. Right, well I've got my Vertex K6 vice floating fl free on the table here. Uh, this was quite a bargain. Um, they normally come with a swivel base and uh, Kronos Tools 
are local to me. In fact, I can drop into them on the way to work. Um, and they have a, uh, a clearance table. And this was on there because two of the lugs, one on either corner, were broken off the, the swivel base. And like most people, I don't use a swivel base. And apart from that, the vice was half price. So I grabbed it. Um, and I've had a few other bits and pieces from that same source before. Now, it's a very simple device to use. Tram the vice up. Let's clamp in the vice jaws. Bottom it out against the dovetails. I mean, this is a um, a non-wear surface. You know, it, it wears on on this face and on the inside of the dovetail. But the, the face of the column, you know, never gets worn. And is a if you're a you know if you were rebuilding a machine, is a good reference surface. Um, obviously, every now and then you've got to go and make sure you knock burrs off. But all I've got to do is bring in the clamps, and I'm, I'm using um, you know, clamps and, and, and step blocks because I, I don't have any, um, haven't got around to getting any short bolts to go, go in there. Tight up against the column, give it a big a bit of a shove. Nip it down. And for ninety nine percent of the work you'll do, that's probably trammed well enough. And obviously. If you need it to be absolutely perfect as you can get it, get out the DTI and clock the um, drawer of the vise. But uh, you know, I really will have to, I think, uh, make myself one of these, and because uh, no doubt uh, now they've been. Uh, made aware of its usefulness, the machinists at work will be wanting to actually take it off the shelf and use it. <laughs>